We're going to Trial Farm in Orange Rock at the Trial Farm Government School and we'll be painting a mural. We'll be uh, bringing two children, each um, talented, artistically inclined children from four schools that were primary schools that we've been working with in that, in that district. Uh, we depend a lot on the children. It, this is a, a, an activity for the whole family, but because the children are known as the ambassadors to the home, we're trying to focus on them, on what is their uh, concept, uh, and try to transform their ideas, not, not just the knowledge of hygiene and sanitation, uh, healthy habit, in barriers to infection like that, but how you put it into action in their daily life. On the distant horizon, far across, far across the blue sea, lies a land full of mystery. Feel the warmth of the shining sun, feel the cool of the breeze. You know the Red Cross, we have found over the years that a better prepared community, rather than us rushing in like the cavalry after the fact, that we go in there before the fact and prepare the community to make themselves stronger and more resilient, not in, in, in their human capacities as well as their physical environment. Well, Red Cross have been around a long time. We've been doing a lot of great things for, for the world in general. So um, I'm very grateful to be a part of this when they have called me to put my to have my input on it and um, so with this um, for any organization that is positive I'm always willing to give my hand up. So me jump on the reggae bus It is the reggae get the bus The reggae bus is for all of us Come over, come over, just come over This project is in Corozal and Orange Rock districts, but we have some pilot communities that we selected based on their vulnerability. Uh, we have Santa Cruz and San Antonio from the Riondo. Um, we had a couple of the students here from the primary school. And the reason those uh, communities got chosen is because they get flooded out and get, uh, you know, when the river comes up, they get cut off. And they, and they are small enough communities that were willing to work with us. Of course, a trial farm. Uh, Louisiana are areas that are also have flooded areas and that's why we chose those two in the urban setting. Those other two are rural, these two are urban. I'm just here to assist them in the art side of it and the school teachers have brought out the, the, um, the best student. The to Red Cross tries to prevent any kind of disaster and disease is one of the disasters. It's picking up the paper from from your schoolyard, your home, wherever you want to put it. And then the negative one will be the kids just throwing the papers on the ground or the ideal packs or blending of the colors which is consists of how many colors and which colors orange white um, this this um, section of the wall depicts the unhealthy hygiene um, practices and I must say that the, the kids were very creative in coming up with ideas to put on the wall we have here um, garbage that is thrown is not kept we have the river 
here that is being polluted by latrines. Um, there's there's waste being dumped in the river. Someone bathing there, of course, it's unhealthy. Someone collecting um, water from the the river. It was very exciting and encouraging to be here and to be a part of this community activity um, involving school, the school trial farm and the students of the other schools that came over to participate in um, getting this mural on the wall. This has been a dream. I have always come here and see the, the empty white wall and I always said one of these days we're going to start painting other things on the wall. And I'm really grateful that Red Cross chose Trial Farm School. And on behalf of the students and the staff, I must say thank you. And the artists, thank you forever. You will have a piece of your artistic work here at Trial Farm. And I invite you to bring your, your families to come and see the beautiful artwork that you did, okay? So let's give them a round of applause, please. Thank you very much.